I am Joseph Grima and uh, we are in Atelier Clerici, which is an event part of the Salon inside Palazzo Clerici, a 16th century palace in the centre of Milan that has become a venue for the Salon del Mobile, presenting experimental works by a number of designers. And at the moment we're sitting under the Aerostatic Dome, which is a, a temporary pavilion designed by Arta Huang and commissioned by Nike. During this week, we're going to be running a series of talks, and next to these talks, under the dome, is going to be this machine called the Fomobile. Uh, the Fomobile is a piece of hardware, but it's powered by a script that we've written called FOMA, which stands for Fear of Missing Out. We're going to attempt to produce a magazine on the fly, and we'll be giving out this magazine basically as soon as the talks are over. So it's an experiment in algorithmic journalism. Hi, I'm Tamar Shafrir and I founded Space Caviar with Joseph Grima in late 2013. And FOMO is one of the first projects that we've developed together as a studio. The way FOMOBILE works is through an algorithm that transcribes speeches, noise and news information that happens around it and also gathers images and tweets that are related to the event that it's covering. And then what it does is it tries to look for links between that content and images online and tweets online that relate to what the people are saying. It kind of uses the algorithm as well to lay out the images and to overlay the tweets and any comments onto the, the original content. And then it prints this automatically through the large-scale printer that produces booklets on the spot. The Fomobile is intended as sort of a uh, almost like a lunar lander that can travel to these, um, to these events. It's an office that's mobile, it has wheels, it kind of folds up into a small cart so it can travel around and can be wheeled into the setting of the event. And then some folds and basically becomes an editorial office. So obviously it has all of the qualities of something that was produced extremely quickly, but that's exactly what we're after. We're looking for something that has kind of a completely different aesthetic a completely different structure from a conventional magazine. All of the things that I'm interested in converge in this project. I'm obviously I've spent a lot of time thinking about magazines, the past and the future of magazines. Um, so it's definitely an editorial project, but it's also um, about the convergence of technologies with design and how technology can have unexpected consequences for um, a lot of existent professions. But it's also about attempting to construct devices that are mobile and that can operate within public space. It's about bringing a dimension of physical space to the social media driven um, layer of conversation.